breaking, Trump just destroyed Sharia Muslims with one powerful move. While the media rambles endlessly over ridiculous conspiracy theories, President Trump is working tirelessly to make America safe again for every U.S. citizen. He's the only Republican with enough spine to take on the threat of Islam. Islam shipped from the Third World via refugee programs is leading to the spreading of barbarous female genital mutilation across America. Trump is putting a stop to it, sending the feds into three major cities to protect innocent children from these backward savages, via Washington Examiner. Trump's action comes in response to a widespread female genital mutilation FGM, ring uncovered in Michigan and Minnesota. The extent of this cruel practice in our country is sickening. Investigators have found that the FGM ring extends to at least three additional states California, Illinois, and New York. Accordingly, Trump's new FGM probe is sending federal agents to LA, Chicago, and New York City. The doctor responsible for mutilating young girls in Michigan and Minnesota is Jumani Nagrila of Northville, Michigan. She's currently being held in jail without bond. Thank goodness. She should never be released. The other two individuals involved in the case are Clinic Connor, Dr. Fakhruddin Adder, and his wife, Dr. Both of them were released on bail last month. It's disgusting that these people are shown any leniency. All three of these creeps belong to a sect of Shia Islam known as the Dawa Dibara, which hails from India. They place great emphasis on little girls receiving female circumcision which is what they call FGM. Naturally, Nagarla's lawyer says it's nothing more than a benign religious procedure. Right. It's completely benign to cut a child's genital so that she can never feel any sensations. Why are these people even in our country? What's terrifying about this situation is that the practice is growing. That's why Trump is sending federal agents into these major cities. The Muslim situation in this country is getting out of hand. Could it have anything to do with the huge number of Muslims being shipped into the US by the leftist establishment? Minnesota, Michigan, California, New York, and Illinois are liberal strongholds. What do liberals love more than anything else? Virtue signaling. Right now, the biggest way for liberals to virtue signal is to open their cities to refugees as a way of proving how non-racist they are. It's disgusting that they put their agenda ahead of the rights of children. The problem with Muslims is they have no desire to assimilate, and the left doesn't expect them to. Even though Democrats claim to advocate for women, gays, and children, they coddle Muslims who abuse each of these demographics. Wherever Muslims become a majority, they impose their beliefs on everyone via Sharia law. They will do the same thing here if we allow them. Supporting President Trump is the first step in protecting our children from the dangers of rampant Islam. Should all practitioners of this sect of Islam be sent back to their country? Share this story on Facebook and let us know because we want to hear your voice.